Good morning, everybody. My name is Okoyemi Ayeola. I thought to just make this video, maybe it could help one or two people. Okay, so it's about medications that we use and um, uh, whether prescribed or over-the-counter medications and not reading, you know, these mini leaflets or the pack of the medication that we go by. So I'm actually 100% guilty all the time as long as my doctor or pharmacist or chemist gives me the prescription and tells me the dose, I'm fine. I never get to read the leaflet to, you know, to find out side effects or precautions or anything at all. I'm 100% guilty. And this almost cost me my life and the life of innocent people. Now, uh, I've been feeling, you know, like everybody knows I've been working back to back non-stop for months now. And I can only thank God and wonderful producers, executive producers, directors who uh, over, over the years and months have believed in Minecraft. So now, I've been feeling very low and a bit of under the weather. But you know, as usual, strong me, I'll just, you know, brush it off and keep moving like a moving train. And like an unstoppable train. So, um, about two days ago, I was on set and <clears throat> I was complaining of not feeling well. So, everybody was like, Oh, it's malaria symptoms, malaria symptoms. You know how we all just, you know, you know, diagnose ourselves of illnesses without necessarily going for tests to confirm. So, I called a friend of mine who advised me to go buy a particular malaria. Um, over-the-counter malaria um, medication so I went to the pharmacies on my on my way I went to the pharmacy on my way home and I got this particular malaria um, um, pack so on my way home as well I just stopped by and parked my car and drank a bit of Gary because I've not eaten for a while so just drank Gary everybody knows I like to drink Gary I drink Gary a lot so it's like normal meal for me so I drank Gary and I used the medication there and there, the first dose, without reading the um, side effects or precautions or anything, which I never do. So um, yesterday I used, it was, it, the medication is actually a three-day course kind of dose. So I used it day before yesterday, one tablet and one tablet yesterday before leaving the house. On my and I drove all the way from my house to Ikorodu to you know to work as you know um, not knowing that part of the side effects of that medication was drowsiness, dizziness, nausea, a lot of other things, and actually I, one could pass out. So I passed out twice at work. I just started feeling a bit dizzy, nausea, nauseated, and feeling very strange so I excused myself to go to the toilet I just passed out there you know, on the toilet floor and again I passed out on the bed then they quickly rushed me to the hospital I'm actually still at the hospital and I passed out again on getting to the hospital whilst they were trying to you know attend to me so now going back we actually noticed apart from other medications that I am actually permanently on we noticed that malaria medication that I used was you know could cause that me to pass out and you know me to pass out feel dizzy and all these things and also now looking back and thinking about it I'm like oh my god to think I actually drove all the way from Ogun State because I live in Ogun State I drove all the way to Ikurudu by myself you know, endangering my life, not only my life, the life of the innocent lady that usually moves around locations with me and the lives of other motorists and innocent people on the way without, you know, due to my own negligence. Number one, I never went for any test to prove that I actually was suffering from malaria. I just felt because I had this fever symptoms, automatically it's malaria. On getting to the hospital, I had no malaria, but I was... I think I had traces of typhoid fever and all that. So, and also, I didn't read the leaflet that came with the medication to warn me that I could feel dizzy and all these things that I felt that, you know, has led me to the hospital now. So, this is just to encourage all of us, 
people who are like actually like me would never read you know um, leaflets or packs of medications before using and we are never careful of the side effects of a lot of medications that we all just go over the counter to buy and also self you know prescribed medication or diagnosing um, treatments just because you feel these symptoms feel that symptoms I just I've learned my lesson and I thank God that mine didn't take my life or the life of innocent people I'm so honored I'm so grateful to God and wonderful people who have rallied around me and have been with me since yesterday so this is just to encourage all of us please 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 guys it's dangerous let's read leaflets let's stop you know self medicating on medications and self diagnosing ourselves of illnesses that we just keep you know i think is wrong we could be endangering our own lives as well as lives of innocent people god bless you bye so i'm com i'm on um, compulsory bed rest I don't have a choice now. Hello, sir. No devil is getting behind you. Lenny. Now, devil! To what before you? Me or Joe? See what? You look who could marry him. They're bad day. To be saved, no mind. Devil, they're not on duty, but we're letting you. Because you need to tell me everything. Huh? Oh, no, 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 no. You feel disappointed, neighbor. Mm -hmm. For the first time, that's in my for over 15 years. Who were bashy by me? Okay. Joe to the Joe. The king of Sini, Timo Mo, Timo Fe. She all look pay, Timo Timo Ashi, Kokora, la 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 la. Pay shoot your Romeo. She look pay many any machine. Pay shoot me. How much money want you? Collect it. What's that in? Pay shoot me. Get up, my wife! 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 Get up,